are there any condenser alternatives to the Shure SM7B which don't exhibit that typical big boost in the upper end, which exaggerate the sibilant frequencies? I have a couple of recommendations. Most people know what they're going to be. Number one is going to be the SE Electronics SE4400A. This is $500 new. It is a multi-pattern condenser microphone. I will give you an example of that. The second, another microphone from Shure, the KSM32. This has one of the sweetest and softest sounding top ends. As far as the price, it is $600 without a shock mount, $650 with a shock mount, but used you can get it significantly cheaper. So up until now, in my response, I have been using the SM7B. I am now going to switch to these other microphones so you can hear how they sound. Now I am on the SE4400A, as I mentioned, $500 multi-pattern condenser mic. I am on the cardioid polar pattern. No pad, no filter. Gain set at 12, noon, straight up and down, midnight, 5, 50%. Any other way that you want to say the exact same thing. Did I say cardioid mode? No pad, no filters? I think I did. There you go. That's the SE4400A. A lot brighter than the SM7B, but it doesn't exhibit that same huge boost in the presence, treble, or air that a lot of modern condensers have. Now I am on the Shure KSM32, as I mentioned, 600 to 650, cardioid only, no pad, no filter, gain set at 2 o'clock on the 18i20. I am sure you could guess exactly why I am recommending this thing, because just listen to the top end. It has a bit of extension, but it is tamer, and it is just so soft sounding. If you're looking for that hyper-realistic, articulate, detailed sound, it's not going to give you that. It's not going to give you the Lewitt sound, but it is giving you something that is condenser-like, but it's not so exaggerated. It is quite tame, extremely easy to listen to. It's just a unique condenser. I love this thing. That's the KSM32. Now I am back on the SM7B. Let's go ahead and do a quick sibilance test between all of these mics. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Now on the SE4400A, Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. And on the KSM32, Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Now I wanted to include a brighter option just so you have that point of reference, that point of comparison. This is the Lewitt LCT 440 Pure, 440 Pro, 250 to $290. No pads, no filters on this thing, cardioid only. Gain is set at 12 o'clock, and there you go. Just so you have that point of reference, it's not the most sibilant microphone, but it is that modern bright sound. Let me know what you think. Was this helpful? Which one did you like the best? 7B, SE4400A, KSM32, or hey, maybe you liked the LCT440. Hi, Andrew. Hope the coffee is getting better. So... I have a Shure SN7B since I wasn't able to treat my room, but now that I have acoustic treatment, I was wondering if there's any condenser microphone under $500 that you recommend that doesn't boost the high frequencies, since I'm an Argentinian and we tend to emphasize the S's a lot, and it's not really flattering. So yeah, I was wondering if you have any recommendation because it feels like all condensers are bright microphones.